Forensic artist Richard Neve has helped the police solve murder cases by reconstructing faces from skulls. In the hope of discovering more about the first Europeans, we've asked him to reconstruct the face of the Wasser skull. So this is Wasser. This is Wasser. There we are. It's wonderful to see him or her. We're not quite sure, are we? No. Fleshed no. out. Touch androgynous, maybe, this one. It's quite strange, actually, because this doesn't particularly look like a... European or African or Asian, it looks sort of almost quite generic, but then I suppose that's what you'd expect from one of the earliest Europeans. You look at this and you can think to yourself, it could go either way. It's, it's almost as though it's, it's a face in flux. It's got features which could go in any direction. It could become Negroid, it could, could become Southeast Asian, it could become European. There's the potential for all those different directions, and that's what I find so exciting about it. Obviously, you've made this in clay, and that's why it's brown, but... Yes. In fact, it's very likely that these earliest of Europeans were quite dark-skinned, much, much darker-skinned than we think of Europeans being today. Yes. Because yes. at the end of the day, you know, they're, they're only just arriving in Europe. They're coming from much more tropical places. Yeah. So I think, you know, we're, we may be looking at something which we're, is actually quite life We're not here. too far from... No. No. I've been really excited to see what this face would end up looking like. And I do feel as though I'm getting much closer to our ancestors.